The year barely started and Wargaming is already dropping a bombshell of a new event to get rare vehicles. The auction bidding event aka Under the Hammer. And in today's video we are not only going to dissect this teaser right here, nope, we are also going to find out what vehicles are very certain to come based on certain things which happened and obviously what else could be coming. In any case, I hope you had a great start into 2022 and let's just start with the beginning of this video. Because from the January of 14th to 19th you will be able to receive very rare vehicles. We already know those auctions. We know them from the black market event which will usually start around March. However, this time it's only for gold or free XP and subsequently free XP is most of the time gold as well. That is very, very, very interesting if you ask me. Sounds really greedy if I have to be completely honest, but that's just how it is. Anyway, in five days they will sell several exclusive vehicles. So I guess it would be a good idea for us to just jump into the trailer and start dissecting it. Because the dissection already starts here. 10, 8, 10, 8, 10. <coughs> the first time I saw this I was like, mm, that sounds a little bit like op Object 780 again, you know, where they also had this 1810 thingy, now this is just 10, 8, maybe 10th of August, I don't know, birthday thingy -majings. But no, apparently it's something completely different. 10, 8, 10, 8, 10, 8. 10, tier 10, tier 8, tier 10, tier 8, tier 10. Five vehicles. And those five vehicles just get um, confirmed right here. We have a lot 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5 with the prices we don't know yet, but it is in free XP and in gold. Now, the first teaser we have right here is a triangle, number 53.6. So a triangle would be a tier 10 vehicle, right? A ta excuse me, not a tier 10, but a tank destroyer. That's just what we call them, triangles. However, let's just think about this. 268 divided by five. You know, 268 version five, tank we already wanted to have. Now isn't that peculiar? 53.6 is exactly what happens if you use 268 and divide it by 5, which is a triangle. Hmm. That is clue number one. Moving over, we have those goggles. Apparently those goggles are usually used by rich people. So people are thinking that this might be the 113 Beijing Opera. A very very unique and also this gold stuff effect you know this gold because Chinese uh, in Chinese culture red and gold are um, are symbols of happiness or not happiness of luck and um, well mostly money and um, that's why it might be something very very rare and very unique and something yeah which is Chinese we we'll don't know yet then we have this envelope and people are speculating that in this envelope it is about the recruitment system which would be the T95E2 as we didn't have that vehicle in ages. Now you should be able to get it probably. Next up we have this book with a time or with a stopwatch or a watch or a pocket watch in general. This book looks very much like a fable book, a book with different old um, histories, you know, from uh, the Brother Grimm, for example. And there is also a hare. And now you might obviously think, hey, isn't there a story with a hare and a tutel, which are running, aka the stopwatch or the watch? So this might be the clue that this will be our tier 8 turtle mark 1 being in this auction as well. And lastly, and I'm pretty confident you might know more about this, we have this royal egg. 
I really don't know what exactly is the history, but people are speculating because it has a lot of gold around it and tiny details in gold that this will most likely be the uh, uh, indication for the WZ111 Kilin, which also have loads of gold about it. And um, yeah, it's a royal tank. It is dragon. Dragons are a royal symbol in Chinese culture. And yeah, that's it. We only get the January and then it's over and we can watch other World of Tanks videos. Again, I didn't come up with all of this myself. Uh, kudos to the people from WattExpress and to Armor Patrol. Again, they say Object 268 version 5, envelope. They don't know yet, but people are speculating it's the Tingina 5 E2. Then 113 Beijing Opera, the book with the hair, they don't know, <coughs> but it probably will be the turtle. And then we have the level 10, the WZ111 Kill Lin. And again, 10, 8, 10, 8, 10, which all makes sense yet again. So, I would say it would be a good idea for you and for me to give you an overview what those vehicles can do and if they're actually even worth it to pick up or if they're just some unique vehicles which have a lot of prestige and are a money sink, you know. The first one is the Object 268 version 5 here compared with the E4. However, I kind of have to skip this one because we have another dead giveaway. In December 9th, 2021, in the super test, Object 68, 268 version 5 was changed, aka it got buffed yet again. And I did now do a little bit of HTML magic and added those changed stats, well at least the important ones like those and those right here, to the comparison which is here. Please keep in mind that now the color doesn't match up anymore. However, with the buffed stats, it has more DPM than the T110E4 while still having a 750 alpha gun. Also, it has more pen on the standard and premium rounds. However, the premiums are heat and not APCR, so keep that in mind because yeah, he has 375 APCR pen while we have 395 heat pen in the version five. The dispersion is the same while the accuracy or the aim time actually got buffed quite a bit to 2.6 seconds to compare to the 2.8. Reload time is also now better. Accuracy on the move is only marginally worse than the E4, 0.22, but the turret accuracy is amazingly good, 0.16 compared to 0.24. Now that is a big step up. We do have better mobility, as you can see, top, sp top speed and uh, to reverse speed. Reverse speed is especially great in this vehicle. Um, however, the effective top speed is a little bit lower than what the E4 has to offer, even though it has better HP per ton ratio. The problem is the terrain resistances are incredible poor, so keep that in mind that you will probably have a little bit of a lackluster mobility in this thing. Gun depression, six versus five, so you lose one degree. We have the same amount of hit points and the armor is obviously not as good as on the E4 because, yeah, come on, it is a T10 hull. The T10 hull on tier 10 is useless. The turret might bounce some things, but you can see it's incredibly weak and you have a really big cupola. Imagine that cupola on the version 4. Who knows? But yeah, overall, a more sniper related version compared to the E4 with loads of benefits. So that might be not only unique, but might also be a really, really cool turret tier 10 TD. And it's a little bit more armored version, a lot more armored version compared to the Gorilla. And one final note, look at those camouflage values. 15 versus 9%, 9 versus 5%. Now that is pretty stonkers, especially when you compare it to the Gorilla 15. Let me just quickly load that up. Yeah, a lot better, huh? It's uh, pretty, pretty much better. However, just as a question, do you think this is legit? Do you think this makes sense? Let me know in the comment section below what you think about all of those um, predictions I just offered. But let's move on now to the 113 Beijing Opera. This is how it looks like. There's no picture here. Apparently it's not a premium. I do also want to point out it's most likely not going to be a premium. It will behave the same like the WZ111 Kilin or the um, Fosch 155. It is a 113. If you like the 113, go for it. If you don't like the 113, there's no point for you as the players to pick up this vehicle if it should come. 
Speaking of, it might also make sense that this vehicle would come because don't forget, the Chinese server now also is at the same update as we have. So combining all those events or across all servers, NA, Russia, EU, Asia and China makes a lot of sense to introduce several Chinese vehicles, you know, get some money. in. But yeah, I don't know, it's it's an it's an outdated heavy tank, still a lot of people like it, but why should you play the 113 when you, for example, can play the 277? It literally does the same thing, but better. Yeah. Then we have the WZ-111 Kilin. Same thing, it's not a premium, it's just like the 268, uh, the 260, the 279, the Foshman 55. It's just a reward vehicle which allows you to put in whatever crew you want, you don't make more money. This one, great DPM, great alpha, great heat, great mobility, great gun depression for a Chinese vehicle, derpy accuracy during movement, but yeah, you get a 490 alpha gun. It's a good vehicle if you can pick it up, it's probably loads expensive, and it looks cool because, hey, has a dragon, you know, again, as we talked before, dragon stuff, gold stuff, and it, it, and it spews fire. That's pretty pog. People are also saying maybe those goggles are for a light tank. So might be the EBR 75 FL10 because we didn't have this tank in sale for I think a year. Not sure though, not sure though. In any case, it would not make sense with the 8, 10, 8, uh, 10, 8, 10, 8, 10 um, discrepancy. So, but yeah, maybe. But then we also have the Tutel, which is pretty stonkers. It has great DPM, 2900. It is not fast, so you might want to use a turbocharger even though you can't boost it. But it has good accuracy, it has amazing DPM, it has 330 alpha, which is great, decent penetration, 10 degrees of gun depression, and more angles to the left and to the right. I generally enjoy the Turtle Mark 1 more than the TS5, even though they are incredibly similar in play style. The TS5 um, does have I think better armor for a normal play, but you don't have 10 degrees of gun depression, you only have uh, 5, which is... Mm -hmm. You have much better accuracy on the move, which is pork, but you don't have good accuracy aimed in. You are faster. Again, give or take. You either will like the TS5 or you will dislike the turtle, or you will like the turtle or dislike the TS5. In any case, armor-wise, the turtle is very, very good. As you can see, against same tiered opponents, we're going to hold down. Against AP, no chance. Against heat, we finally see some chances to penetrate him. Uh, when we take now another vehicle, which probably is more to what you will see, like for example, the good old body called Defender right here. You will see that with AP we have the same picture and with APCR it's still very, very hard to penetrate a hold down or angled turtle, you know. So yeah. Lastly, we have uh, the recruitment reward vehicle back in the days, the T95E2. It's basically a TL1 LPC with worse armor and worse gold penetration, or penetration in general, but a little bit better DPM, better accuracies, and better top speed and mobility technically. So yeah, give or take, you, you trade armor and alpha damage for DPM or like um, follow-up damage and mobility. Give or take. It doesn't look bad, it was recently buffed. Same goes to the 59 Patton, which also recently got buffed, but as you can see, they have the same DPM. They, base, they do have different pen values, but um, top speed is roughly again in the favor of the American boy. So with that, we have everything touched on. Sorry if the little video was a little bit long, and I know most of you were like, huh, suddenly a six, another 60 second video? Yes, this one needed a little bit more time. Also, I'm sorry that there is not a lot of editing going on in this video. I have a lot of to do with my university. In any case, finally, I show my face again. I hope you had a fun time watching this video. Let me know in the comment section below what you think about the prediction or the leaks, and what you think about what to pick up if those vehicles are coming. My name is Raging Raptor. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. And now I'll go back to learning. Bye-bye.